Good morning everybody, how is everyone doing? Look, today we've got a belter for you. Um, we're visiting a place that I never thought in my life I would. And to top it all off, we're staying at this amazing camping site. Obviously, the van is right there. And today I have a very special guest. Look who is with me today. <laughs> for those who don't know, my name is Gus. This is my little one, Kiko. And, um, well, we try and travel around, show you people this amazing country of the United Kingdom. And um, we do that in our 2005 Renault Kangoo that I've converted. Um, not perfectly, but like they say over here, that'll do. So, Last night we got in here quite late, that's why you haven't got any footage, but you will have um, tonight, because we're staying here another night, um, and then we're moving on to a different campsite. Um, we're now in South Dorset, and tomorrow we'll move up to North Dorset. Come, come along, enjoy, and I'll show you a bit around the campsite. Come on, let's go! Should we give them a little taste of where we are? So let's turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, and boom. What is that in the background there? Tank. I think that's a tank, right? So should we should we go to the tank museum? Let's go then. Today we are in the tank museum. I personally have never seen a tank, but I will today. And if you, like me, had never seen one, stick around, because I'm going to show you quite a few of them. This museum has been open since 1953, but the collection, the, ar the, the archives here have been open since 1923. They've got the first tank ever made, they got the new ones. This is all in part. This is private, but it's all in partnership with the army. So there is a lot of stuff. There are tanks from everywhere, everywhere in the world. So come with me, and I'll show you around some of these beauties. All right, let's go. For those of you guys that remember how I've been here, this is Little Willy. Little Willy was the first tank ever made. It was made for the First World War. And believe it or not, it was commissioned by Winston Churchill when he wasn't even um, Prime Minister yet. He asked, he was in the army and asked three engineers. As I was saying before the battery died, he commissioned three engineers um, and he said it needs to be bulletproof, it needs to fire back and it needs to get over the trenches. And that's what they ended up with, Little Willy. They got a lot of prototypes, but Little Willy was the first one ever made. There you go. You're going to hear a lot of this today. These things are huge and beautiful. I mean, I know that a lot of people are going to say, oh, the war machines and things. But you live the way you live today because a lot of people gave their lives in these things for you. So it might be wrong. Might be, there might be war machines, 
but they're also liberating machines. We don't speak German because of them. Let's go. As a camper van fan, anyone wants one of these? To convert? Or maybe one of these? I'm sure, I'm sure that would be a good camper though. I mean, I know no one would nick it, because they'll never know if you'll be armed or not, which you probably would be. That would be, a, that would be a good one to see around there. Eh? That would be a very good one to see around. I'm not gonna bore you with all the history and blah, 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 because I don't know that much. A lot of, of you are gonna probably leave in the comments that you know a lot more than me, which I put my hand up and admit it. However, let me show you this one because this one is pretty interesting. This is the Panza. The Panza was the tank that helped Nazi Germany to invade Poland, Belgium, Holland and France, right? Light and fast with a little gun but built for speed and that was German's technique at the time, wasn't it? It's lightning quick through the defenses. This is German built with British ideas. They took some of the ideas from the British development that was happening before the war. Look how small it is. Look, I'm 6'3". Look how small this tank is. I'm nearly at the top here. So it was literally, look in comparison to this one, this old one. Can you see? Look at it. This is big, heavy, old. And German was all about new, fast. Ah, it's a shame they used that, all this brain power and this technology and this wisdom for war, isn't it? But it is what it is. I don't usually do this in this channel, but I'm gonna do it now. This one was the answer from the British to that lightweight tank from the Germans. There you go. This is a little shorter, but it's a bit taller than me. And that, thank God, was the answer from us Brits to the Panzer. The light mark of VIB or VIB, whatever you want to call it. Britain! Britain! And then, when America decided to join the war, there was the answer. The light tank M3A1 Stuart. Again, a little bit bigger than the Germans and a little bit taller, but way heavy armored. Look, you got a machine gun in there, you got another one in there, and the tank one in there. Look, this is good. This is the answer from the Americans. That's good, isn't it? They got extra tracks in there in case it breaks. Good. Oh, and this is a big one. This is the Panzer III, the third generation of that little tank. Way bigger tank. Way bigger. Look at the size of this bullet. It's a way bigger tank. So that was at the end of the war when they wanted to destroy us. They thought they were going to win. You didn't. But they thought they were going to win. And they started creating these beasts. Look at the size of that one, man. That's also German. <sighs> Germans, Germans. Squadron, uh, there were 15 tanks all down. And, and, and he just kept turning his gun to pop. There another one around the gun. And then three or four went and then he suddenly backed off and left us. We thank God we were still alive. <laughs> He must, he must have either got shot at petrol or ammunition or something and just back to me. Because our shells were just simply bouncing off it. You, know? you can see all the squad and all firing at him, the shells were just bouncing away. Those who are interested, this is the Challenger 2. This is the tank that Britain is currently using on its military. That's good, isn't it? 
Massive. Look at the size of this thing. Look, I'm 6'3 with my hands up. I'm probably what, seven and I can't even touch the bloody thing. Massive. Hopefully we won't have a war to use it. But it's good to have it. It's good to have it. A little disclaimer um, that I should have done in the beginning of the video. This is all about World Wars, World War I, II. So you might see images that you do not like or they might upset you. So, disclaimer done. Guys, if you live in the UK, and if you live, especially if you live in South, um, South England, you have to come here, right? This museum is amazing. Look at it. Look, they reconstruct periods of things of, from that period of the wars. This is Second World War. I have never, personally, and I've been to the majority of the museums in London, I've never been to a museum that is this Torah, right? They, they have built um, like little scene by scene from the war. So they got like, they got a cinema, look at it. They got a cinema as they were back then, showing war movies, look. They got the armored vehicles there. They got an exhibition there. And then you keep walking here and they have like a store as it was, as it was before and back then. Look, look, you got it here. This museum is really, really good. I mean, and it's only 14 pounds, 15 pounds for an adult. However, it's a yearly ticket. So you can you pay 15 pounds, but you can use for a whole year. So if you don't have time to see every day in a day, or if you, something that you wanted to see was closed, just come back with the same ticket and you'll be all right. It's amazing, amazing. This part of the museum is literally the factory. Look at it. You can see, you can see them building the tanks and showing you how they used to be. Look, that is so cool, man. Listen, if you live in the UK, come to this museum. It's amazing, it's a really cool museum. Please come. As you guys can see, we are at the car park and the tank museum excursion is finished. This one got his present. And a little tank. We are now heading back to the car and... Going to Dadodor. Yeah, we're going to Dadodor, but that is in another video. All right, calm down. We're not going to get everything in one video, otherwise this video will be an hour. I hope you enjoyed. If you're not subscribed yet, subscribe. It's free, and you still and you help us a lot. Okay. I'll see you next time. Let's go.